probably one of the most famous equation which we all have heard of e equals mc squared although the actual equation looks like this but we will be considering e equals mc squared in this video well there is a very interesting way in which we can derive this particular equation it's a really interesting way but before that we need to understand one more equation that how mass varies with velocity this was also given by einstein and mass actually increases as the velocity increases and it follows the particular equation now squaring both sides gives us this a bit of modification will give us this and if you see very closely m squared times v squared is nothing but momentum squared now momentum can be written in this particular form where m is the mass of the particle and e is the kinetic energy of the particle substituting p in the initial equation gives us this now factorizing m square minus m naught square gives us this now since m plus m naught is um, now m naught is very close to m that's why we can write it as 2m and m minus m naught is a change in mass that's why we can write it as delta m and we get the expression 2m times delta m c squared equals to 2m e cancelling 2m from both sides we get e equals delta mc square.